Hi everyone, Dennis Foley from Acoustic Fields. Today we're going to talk about kind of a danger zone, that front wall area. It's usually the area where our speakers are in a two-channel system. It's usually the area our monitors are in a mixing and mastering situation. It's usually one of the closest boundary surfaces to source of energy, so it is going to produce the biggest amount of energy issues because if you have source and you have boundary, the interference between those two, you know, can actually exaggerate and uh, overproduce unwanted modal pressure. So we have to realize that it's not about anything else other than the relationship between source and boundary surface. And I see a lot of times speakers right against the wall, which is unequivocally a no-go. You definitely don't want to do that. We recommend three to four feet minimum, and sometimes depending on speaker size, especially the low frequency driver diameter, farther distances. So, oh, and I hear this every day and I get so tired of it, that the corners of the room are the areas of the high, highest pressure and nothing really could be further from the truth. And I have a database of 145 rooms built and measured that that's only the case in 16%. So how could people and how could companies say that when I have empirical data to the contrary? Well, it's a myth. It's propaganda because they know the corner is empty and they can sell you something to put in it. So they're going to tell you that's the area of highest pressure. Now, it might be the area of highest pressure if there's nothing else in the room and you just have one source in the center generating omnidirectional energy. Sure, makes sense. Corners of the room where all the modal issues end that would be an area of highest pressure, but that's not reality. That's a half truth, okay? Blown up to be something bigger than it really is. So it assumes no furniture or any items in the room, and that's not reality. So speakers are your biggest sound generating source. A live instrument is the biggest sound generating source. A vocal can be the biggest sound generating source in the room, okay? So most of those energies are 360 degree energies, especially with a speaker, because you have the room, boundary surfaces to work with. It's not just a directional, you know, output of energy. So what do you get when we have this boundary surface issue here? We have all this unwanted pressure. Well, you all know the terms I like to use. Mud, soup, blow, call it whatever you want. You can hear it, though. So you two-channel guys out there, and even your mixing and mastering guys out there, take your speakers and go ahead and stand behind them. Take a pressure meter and measure, okay? Take an RTA and get the frequency of the pressure. Then go back to the listening position and compare the two. Do the same at the listening position and compare the two. If you see a dramatic increase, in 45, 40, 50, 60, 70 cycle energy here, and you see a dramatic difference between that at the listening or monitoring position, you got a problem, okay? You got a translation problem, you got a listening issue, you, you have an unbalanced presentation. So that's a good test to do. I did it in our studio at Sacred Ground, there was absolutely no difference. Even on pressure levels, you know, in the room as high as 95, even sometimes 100, still none. Now, I have a lot of low-frequency absorption up there in the front end, so that's a, a reason for that. So I have a proportional amount to the amount of energy I produce with the speakers. So use that test example. Get yourself an RTA and a pressure meter, and you can get them in both, and we can send you the apps. They're in the app store you can use. And just, you know, stand back there when the music's playing. Don't touch the gain. Do some measurements, go to the listening position, do the same measurements. If you see a drastic difference, I mean a 1 or 2 dB difference, probably manageable, but 4, 5, 6, 7 dB difference at certain frequencies, not acceptable. So that front wall pressure area between source and boundary surface is a dangerous thing. Keep it in mind when you're doing your uh, processing and your planning for the acoustical treatment in your room. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video, and if you liked it, please give us a thumbs up. We also have a newsletter that you can subscribe to, so please do that because we offer special price discounts to only those on our newsletter. And then don't forget about our forum. We have started a forum on our own website, 
where people ask questions and I usually get a chance every couple days to look at it. There's an interchange between people on the forum and we'll give you real answers uh, on a regular basis so that'll help you. Thank you.